We set off for the northern region to refuel. This place is paradise compared to what's further ahead. Beyond our destination lies the closed gate to Nord Belka. Fifteen years ago, the Belkans set off seven nuclear bombs there to stave off the advancing Allied forces, entombing themselves in the frozen valleys to the north. That bit of history should have been enough of a lesson for us all. The seven Belkan cities near the gate were vaporized, and the local area is still highly radioactive. Our landing point was in the state of North Osea, formerly a haven for Belkans, but now entrusted to Osea. If you refer to it by that name, it's from my own life. We'll put a scowl on his face and tell you that this is South Belka. Higher Lark meant a lot to us. Our flight training took place here on this airfield. On the base, we were surrounded by junior cadets, eager to hear war stories. The newspaper article about us, written by that journalist Jeanette, made it here faster than we did. Somewhere along the line, we had become the most experienced pilots in the entire world. directed to take these inexperienced pilots back with us to Sand Island when we return. Man, we better thank Pops for this. Why's that? Because he's the guy who pounded basic fighter maneuvers into us. Now we can lord it over all these guys. You said it. These pilots had only a tenuous grasp of flying, much less mid-air refueling, so we had to land at every base along the way. I can't believe we have to send them off to guard the western coastline. An SSTO craft launch facility lies to the east of our current location, McNeely Air Force Base. The facility was a collaborative project between Osea and Yuktabani. It was built to be a bridge to outer space with a mass driver 7.5 miles in length. Our radar has detected several planes from a Yuktabanian squadron approaching the facility from several directions. The facility is currently conducting pre-launch operations for an SSTO craft. The base commander will provide you with further orders. This is the commander of McNeely Air Force Base. All units, including those refueling at this base, are now under my command. Engage the incoming enemy. All untrained pilots are barred from taking off. Those guys are still kids. Ten minutes to launch. Commencing countdown. I remember this space center well. The mass driver was built by Osea and... Hold the countdown. Enemy incoming. This is the Base Air Defense Command. The enemy has a large formation of transport planes escorted by a squadron of fighters. They're conducting an air assault to capture this base. What? They're actually planning to invade Osea? If we shoot the parachutes before the tanks detach, we'll smash them into the ground. You with me? I guess we don't have any other choice. I can't believe that's our strategy. Airborne tanks are dropping from the transport plane. Can you count all those parachutes? I gave up already. Destroy all airborne ACVs. Engage them in the air and on ground. The ACVs are moving this way. Don't let them get near the mass driver. That was a nasty shot, Raven. Get distracted and I'll slam right into one of them. Man, this is bad for my health. I never liked tanks. Now I really hate them. The enemy tanks are heading for the base! Fox 2! Enemy tank confirmed destroyed. I hate having to shoot you after you finally touch ground and all, but... Sorry. It's all over. 
Driver, if the tanks break through. Blaze, do you think our forces are sufficient? I'd like to think so, too. But they even had to call us out, you know. This is the Northeast Sector Defense Force. The enemy has broken through Pillbox 1. What are we supposed to do? Shoot at planes with our cannons? We're defenseless in the air. I guess we better start praying. They're easy targets hanging like that in the air. I actually feel kind of bad for them. Attention Allied planes! Destroy all approaching enemy tanks! We're getting requests from every team to restart the launch. Chief, this is unacceptable. Please restart the countdown. I'm on orders from our air defense commander. We have to comply. The captain shot down the enemy. Damn it, we're caught in crossfire. They're firing us from below, too. We do have parachutes for our tank crews, right? Our ground defense line is collapsing. They're gonna get overrun. I'll try one more time to convince the higher-ups to launch. They're halting the countdown after all this? All that hard work, just down the drain! Now descending. All systems go. They're firing! The center is under attack! Enemy tanks parachuting down in large numbers. You're kidding, they're trying to capture this place? This is bad news. We better shoot them fast before they touch the ground. Almost within range! Well, don't just stand there. Start shooting! Destroy them before they hit the ground. Fox 2, Fox 2. Damn! I can't believe they're doing an airdrop! We have to defend this base by ourselves? Use the trailers to form a barricade. Hey! Those are enemy planes! We're sitting ducks here. We'll just have to rely on our escort fighters. That missile's coming this way! Come on, baby, don't hit us. Just let us land safely. You sure we'll be able to land safely? Hey, I thought we had air superiority. Tanks falling from the air? What kind of operation is this, anyway? These guys make great targets. Until they get on the ground, anyway. Number 8 just took a direct hit and exploded! The tanks are getting close. I can see them from here.
it covered, sir. Three modes of communication. Wired, wireless, and runners. Guidance team reporting. Our launch window will close in a few minutes. Have faith in our fighter pilots. Don't rush your final checks. The catapult camera just shut off. Was the SSTO hit? The camera just malfunctioned. Ken, is the launch facility safe? I can't tell from here. It was damaged? It's just a little while more until the launch. Hang on. Three minutes! Three minutes to go! What about the final check on the remote measurement units? Uh, sorry, sir. Remote measurement units check complete. Seal off D-block. Nobody's left in there, right? up once again, laser cannon in its wings. It was a moving sight. In my heart, though, I wished it didn't have to be used in war. None of them found out why the enemy targeted the base until much later. A 
Of course, by that time, it was too late. We prevented the Yuktobanian army from capturing the launch facility. The SSTO launch was successful. The SSTO docked with the Arkbird, which had descended into the upper and successfully transferred a laser weapon module over to the craft. All aircraft with 108th Tactical Fighter Squadron and the Sand Island Detachment returned to base as soon as rearming and refueling operations are complete.